Hey guys, welcome to Waste Not Wednesday. We go live every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Mountain Time and we fix stuff and we take things we got for free or close to it, turn it into home decor that we sell or use in our shop um, in Lehigh, Utah and at jamierayvintage.com. So what are we doing today? So this is an antique table that we picked up. Did we pick this up at Kobe's or was it was at the consignment place? I think Kobe's, it but was, I know we were it's in from California in March. Debbie. Yep. So it's been a while. We were in California in March and, you know, we got back and had to just get straight to hustling on the church renovation that's now the shop. Um, and this had this bracket down here in the middle to keep it from being wobbly and these spindly legs from being a little, like, uh, not sturdy. And we're going to glue this back up if we can. We're, it's supposed to be two pieces and we have three. And then I'm going to show you how to use this as a clamp. We've showed it on the channel before, but it's been a while and it's super easy to use this. Way easier than trying to like clamp this with actual clamps. And in the uh, spirit of waste knot, I'm going to waste not my time. I have a <laughs> Christmas garland that I need to get finished. So I'm going to be working on some ornaments and I'm going to show you a real quick way to jazz up some pine cones that you can use for ornaments, garland, centerpieces, whatever. <clears throat> these, I don't know if they were free or if I thrifted them. They were in my Christmas stash. And these are those pie tins from a few weeks ago. I was going to sell them, but nobody bought them. Um, I guess probably because I hadn't finished them and they didn't know what I was doing with them. So I took them off the website. I paid a dollar, I think, for five of them. And I'm going to turn these into some cute ornaments. Um, also, in the spirit of waste not, we have a bag of odds and ends poured resin using the Holly Lane mold, the Cameo. Um, I even think we have the new Blitz mold poured in here. So I'm going to paint up some of these. If you guys have not purchased them, we still have, I think, three of the four new molds still in stock. So, Caitlin, can you link these Christmas molds? Bobbles has to be my all-time favorite, and we haven't even used it yet. I was going to use it this morning, but I ran out of resin, so I'm just using existing pores. All right, so this is just slightly taut. It's not very, it's not tight. Um, and then you can see here, this is just small quarter inch, pretty spindly. This snapped in half in transit when we were hauling it home. Not sure exactly what happened to it, if it fell or what, but got to figure out how to get this together in the middle have it be semi-strong. We'll see if I can manage that without too much effort. And that goes in here. And we do have little nubbins of dowel that's broken. I was gonna try to replace that, but I don't have this. It's like a, I don't know, it's a small dowel, not even quarter of an inch. And I didn't have anything like that. And I didn't have time to turn something this morning. And for this project, that's almost too much effort to put into it. It's not going to be a full restoration. It's going to be a Jamie and Zeberation. It's a waste not Wednesday. Let's show you how to fix this easy. So <laughs> um, if you guys want to use the paint and products that you see us use, we definitely carry those at jamierayvintage.com. And we have restocked the Holly Dolly Christmas shirts. We sold out of large and extra large. If you need an extra large, get fast because we only have one. I have messaged the manufacturer to say, hey, can I just get large and extra large? Because we always seem to have I have to order like a whole run and I not as many people buy smalls and mediums. So I always wind up with a ton of those and not enough of the other sizes. But as of this morning, we were fully stocked smart, small to extra large. So All right. So I'm going to pull this a little tighter now. And I just have this hooked into the other hook. Um, trying to get this tight. This side does not have as much dowel left, so we don't have a lot to work with. Went real juicy with the glue. That way I can wipe it off later because I need a lot of glue. And you don't have to use this style strap. You could use a ratcheting strap. Just be careful with that on something this thin. You might just break it because you can put a lot of pressure on things with those. All right, now I'm going to flip it over. <clears throat> We're going to try to put one of these in each side. Lots of glue on these too. Mm. I think I'm going to save this for when I paint because it doesn't really change. This is gold. This copper is already pretty sparkly. I wanted to use the new mica powders because I thought it'd be fun for Christmas stuff, but I think I'm going to save these for my pine cones. Move those over. So I'm just using 
DIYs, copper patina, and a stencil brush because these stencil brushes make it so easy to get down into all the resin details. And you don't use, if you use a big fat brush, you are going to waste so much liquid patina. And I think this is like $33 and legit. This is the same one you've seen me use pretty much all year. So it does last a long time, but I don't want to waste it. So I always like uh -oh. to use these for my whatever, resin appliques. Pulled that too tight and I couldn't get my dowel in. So we're going to have to get creative here. I might need an extra hand, James. Do you have skiers in the kitchen that you could use? Skewers in the kitchen. Like, I have popsicle like sticks. wood ones? Do you need popsicle sticks? No, I, don't, I think we're okay. There's, there's, the dowel is still in there, and I haven't drilled it out. Here, I need you to hold this here, though. Need a, wait, wait, wait. Okay, now. All right, I'm going to hold this. But I'm also going to be working with my left hand. <laughs> that's kind of hard i feel like it, you need two hands for this maybe i like big fat brushes i cannot lie they do that's make it. things go fast they do but when you're doing little stuff and you don't want to waste your product this is it i also use the jrv stencil brushes for waxing you guys have seen me do that a lot because i do not like wax everywhere i also don't like wasting wax and so i use these for waxing and i'm not gonna lie i wax with them then I use Dawn dish soap in warm water, wash out the wax, and then I paint with them in stencil. You have to get most of the wax out or else it's not going to work. But All right. This glue is going to look like a goopy mess, and that's on purpose. I'll wipe it off in a sec before we're done. Do it. How long do I got to hold this for? Oh, you're done. Oh, okay. You can have I your can hand back. This. Now I can get back to this. So I'm going to get these done, and then while they dry, Whew. I will work on my pine cones. Maybe. I might, I might need your hand in a minute. <laughs> William Bell is on here today, and he said that short is the best ever. I'm guessing he means the one that I just made with the uh, pair of Pampered Chef. I found out that that was not a Pampered Chef bra. It was a uh, Pampered Chef egg cooker, and I also found out you can make little cakes in them. And I was going to sell it, but I love cake. I mean... That's why I wear leggings and baggy t-shirts because I love cake. And Zeb's like, you love cake? You should save it. And then we can make microwave cake. So maybe we won't be selling that one. All right, this is getting tricky because every time I tighten the side, it makes it so I can't get this other leg in. Yeah, yesterday I didn't feel like working. So I was like, let's go to the thrift store. I mean, that's still work, I guess, but it was like fun work. Zeb wanted to clean out the barn. That which... is never on Jamie's list. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now I need you to hold this again. Just okay. hold those tight right there like that. Now I can tighten it fully. If you don't have someone to help you, you might need to get a couple of real clamps out because what was happening is every time I tighten this, it would um, it would bring one leg in farther than it should have been. All right, you're good. That is a whole situation. Well, it you're going to get that all glued up, and then you can help me paint. I can help you paint those, and I'll show them the... Uh, I think we'll just let this set up and then maybe this will be our video for Friday. Oh, okay. Then we won't paint it because I don't want to rush it. I want it to. It's going to need to dry. I was just going to paint most of it and s except for where the strap is. Well, why don't we work on my garland? <sighs> but I don't love your garland. <laughs> why don't you love it? I don't really love garlands in general. You're the one that told me. I was like, oh, let's go get some garland. And you're like, how about you get a really quality one you can use year after year? And I was like, how about I don't have $400? So I went to the DI. I spent $4. I'll show you that garland in a minute. And I'm going to zhuzh it up. I just didn't want to keep spending. I don't like the real one because I put them up every year. And then we got to throw them away every year. And they're a big, needly mess all over the place. That is, It is a true story. So these are going to dry. Copper patina. You guys have seen me do that a million times. We'll put these over here out of my way. Let's work on pine cones next. Trying to get this a little tighter. Thanks, Vec Hole Restoration. She said I look pretty. I curled my hair today. I don't do it every day. Not because it takes a long time because I literally... it's what, six, seven minutes? Yeah, it doesn't take you too long. Um, Cause I just go to bed with my hair wet and then curl it. But it's mostly because I don't live a hair down lifestyle. So I get sweaty, I work on projects, so it's just hard to get done. Okay. So next are my pine cones and I'm going to mix some of the cottage color, the Jamie Ray vintage cottage color. It has the all in one sealer, so I don't have to seal my pine cones. Um, and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of paint frosting. I only like to do a little bit at a time because the paint frosting in cottage color mixes up 
instantaneously. Okay, like, I think I've got quick. that tight enough. I'm gonna put it on the ground and just give it one, one good yank. I can't get enough pressure on it. Much. Up like this. You just need to like a droplet. I should have poured it into the lid, I know better. All right, there we go. This is the paint frosting, it lasts forever. Now it's like sturdy too, it was wobbly before. It gets chunky, like, I don't know, you probably can't see it because it's white in a white bowl, but it gets chunky almost immediately and it's ready to craft with. Like, look, it's, <laughs> I feel like this is the, the test here. Do you guys see that? It's like it's a like Dairy Queen when they like, hold your shake under un, upside down. You're like, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Just give I it to me. I was just going to say that. So this is going to look like snow on my pine cones. And I added the paint frosting to um, thicken it up. And I was thinking maybe I'd put some of the mica powders on here. We'll see. We'll see what we do. So these are the pigments. You can add this to paint. You can paint it on top. You can sprinkle it like glitter. Ooh, pretty. That's what I'm going to do. Just a little, just a little extra. I'll show those to you up close in a minute. Right. So I'm thinking I'm going to do some white, some pink, some paint blue. Oh, is this the one I was using? Okay. Got to make sure that I'm <laughs> using the right one because I'm notorious for putting the wrong brush in it. Zeb, will Zeb put nails in the crossbar too? I'm going to try not to. Once I, we're going to let this sit. It's going to take. 24 hours. It should be pretty strong after about an hour, but I'm going to let it sit for 24 hours. Um, we could paint it now. Sounds like Jamie wants to wait and do the garland. Um, are you going to do what I want to do? But, well, I could paint this all but where the strap's at, but I want to see how sturdy it gets once we get this glue dried up. I well, think it'll be pretty good to go. This glue is strong. I've had... If you if you bond it right, I've had this glue be stronger than the wood, like the wood will break in another spot, but not where the glue is. <laughs> um, I just don't know what color I want to paint that. I mean, we can maybe get it started. Uh, I have a lot of gray skies. I've got vintage. But I mint. wanted to decoupage paper the top, so maybe we oh. need to pick the top decoupage paper first. All right. Well, let me. We'll let this sit for a little bit, and then maybe we'll decoupage the top because that'll be easy and something we can do in just a little bit all right why don't you all. show them my four dollar uh i will i'm gonna show this four garland. Dollar garland i am glad that you got this one because once we're done it'll be done we can wrap it up put it in a bag put it in storage whereas the other ones like i said she would buy them every year like costco or home depot or something and we would string them out by the end they'd be super crispy by the end of the season and then drop in needles everywhere and when you haul them out, you basically got to like follow them out with the shop back. <laughs> I like this mica powder just because it's fine. It's not like big chunks of glitter in it. Are we going to ditch the roses on here? Oh, it's all going to go. You could keep maybe like the pine cones. So this is the garland. It's not real. I like that. It looks good. It's not like a super chintzy one. Uh, I like it as a feather boa. Which, and I think it's, let's see, my wingspan here. I'm hoping it's wide enough. I haven't checked. It's only, I'm going to say it's nine feet because my wingspan's about six and I got a little over a foot on each side. So. We will, uh, we will see how that oh, goes. Goodness. I'm going to start working on getting all this stuff off. Yeah. Can you. Uh, oh, they've glued it. Yeah, I'm going to glue it too. Okay. Unless you want to get out the fishing line. Oh, that one's just wrapped. But these these white berries are broken. They don't look very it good. It makes a scratchy scarf, Caitlin says. Yeah, it was a little scratchy. I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> I would do this over these so that way if any extra falls, it falls on my pine cones. How many pine cones do you think I need? I don't know. 20 or 8. It is really a struggle when you craft with ADD because I'm like, okay, I should be done by now. I'm ready to glue these on. <laughs> and I just got started. How long have we been live? 10 minutes? 15 at the most? My attention span is short. You get quick crafts with me because I don't have patience. Really, this doesn't take hardly anything. All right, I'll show you guys up close. I don't know if you'll be able to see the sparkles. You can probably see it on my finger. So here's my snowed pine cone there's a sp 
sparklies. You guys see the sparkles? I don't know. I'll show you another one. And there's this one. It's very delicately sparkled. You just did that with the... Uh... Mica powders, cottage color in white linen, and paint frosting. But I got to work paint fast because I mixed up a lot of paint frosting and it sets up. So I don't know about you guys, but this rose in here is throwing me off. What? Obviously a Christmas garland. Roses don't grow in the winter. Listen, people like to put floral in there. We have a pink Santa. We got to There's a couple of pine cones already right there. Bonus pine cones. I'm going to leave those ones. Yeah. Well, we waste not wants not. Well, I can't. No, those got to go. They're different. They're like papery. No, they're just a different kind of tree. They're yeah, real. Is it going to look weird to have some painted, some not painted? No, I don't think so. I'm just going to take them off later. Because if I pull them off, they're glued on pretty good. I think we'll, I'm worried we'll lose a lot of the garland. Okay. I'm almost done with the white pine cones here, and then I'm going to move on there to the next There is so color. much little fuzzy stuff. What? All right, I got that one off, mostly. I guess I can take them off the bottom. I want to add more. Like, the bottom's breaking off. Top. What? The bottom's breaking off, so it's not like pulling it apart. Not pulling the garland. How do you apart. think we should attach these? You want to hot glue them, or do you want to tie them on with fishy line? I definitely don't want to tie all those on. Okay, hot glue it is. I just want to make sure they yeah. survive year after year. I mean, I guess we could always just hot glue it back on. Sorry, I'm decided to kind of dry brush the tips of these. Oh man, that one's on there. Good it's a good. painter's prerogative to change their mind. Oh, they had it, they had it like twisty tied on. Whew. This is a lot of stuff on here. It didn't look like it had that much stuff, but I'm going to have a big old pile by the time. They I'm asked gone. if we were back to health. I feel healthy. How about you? I still have boogers in my nose. I got like there. a, like a perpetual snotty nose this winter, but other than that, I feel good. Like waking up in the morning. Don't you feel still got sick. a little bit of a cough. Yeah. I think that's from the snotty nose. Yeah. But maybe it's like sinus. Like it's not like a raspy. I mean, you guys like, don't want to hear about our snotty situation. Back of my throat cough. I guess you do because they asked. Yeah. But yeah, feeling good. And I this might be all they winter. They said use the heat gun to remove the glue. Oh well, these I think these are plastic. I'd be worried that they would get too oh, hot. Oh yeah, that's true. These. That is a true. Maybe not. There. I mean, it might be a higher melting. We'll just re-glue glue. stuff. Where the glue is all chunky, and then nobody will know. I'm gonna put so much crap on here, and nobody's gonna know what's going on. All yeah, right. Yeah, she has a whole mess of pine cones over there. A whole mess of pine cones? Is that the correct? That's like a mess of biscuits, like when you have biscuits and gravy. Mm. I got a whole mess. This of morning we had French toast. What did you guys eat for breakfast? I have this, I've been working on my crusty bread recipe, trying to get the hydration just right. And so I've been making it pretty much every day. <laughs> and so I, we've had to find interesting ways to use it up. So this morning we had French toast. Zeb just prefers my soft bread because he doesn't like crusty bread. But I don't like hard crust. Not a fan. I'm like, it just hurts my cheeks when I bite it. Maybe I need to take smaller bites, but I don't know if I can control that at this point. At 40 years of age, 41, I'm smaller guess I bites. Am now. I'm trying to use up every last bit of this paint paint frosting. So you don't have to use the cottage colors. I just like it because it sets up so fast and gets super chunky. And then it also has a built-in sealer, so I don't have to go back and like try to seal these. Not that I probably would, but. It does make crafting. I just easy. realized, I think that's my problem with like burgers and sandwiches and toast. I don't like toast because it like hurts my, the corners of my mouth. It's because I'm taking a, like I take bites to fill up my whole mouth. You're taking so man-sized can bites? Oh, yeah. I like can't... I don't, I don't mess around with little half nibbly bites. That's, I don't do that. Nancy says, I don't like crusty bread. I mean, the bread tastes good. Amy had a protein shake. I had a protein shake too. It's called milk. <laughs> milk has, that's where I get my protein from. It does have Buttercups milk and it's got plenty of fat too. The nice thing too, like this is already a little thick, this paint blue because it's older and I didn't have the lid on all the way. So maybe I won't need to add paint frosting. I'm just over here in the corner, like pulling all this huge pile of stuff off. All right. Like it's such a hodgepodge mismatch of colors and random things. I don't know what they were doing. It looks right. like my cousin's house that I just helped him go repaint a couple rooms. 
So Debbie asked us to come up with colors. We're going to be adding oh, some colors yes. to the cottage color Let's lineup. Talk about that. We do have to keep them in the softer palette because the manufacturer is not investing in a new base yet. So we really need to sell lots of cottage colors so we can tell them we want darker colors. But spring is coming, so a lighter base is fine. I was trying to think of colors I wanted, and I was thinking about like a romantic cottage vibe. Tell me what you think. So I'm thinking like a cream, um, a sage green, a dusty rose, a moody type dusty blue, and I don't know. I don't know what. I got to come up with five colors. I, I don't feel know like we need on. like an earthy tone. Oh, that's what I was. Well, the cream, I wanted to do a creamy beige, like the color of crockery. Okay. Like sandy blonde, only lighter because I feel like crockery is a lighter tone, but like the same color. Well, as you can always crock. dark wax it and get it darker if you need it to be. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to do my blue pine cones next. I don't typically veer for my red and green, but this is going to go in the family room so I can have a little fun. They said taupe. So yeah, like a taupey color. Light yellow. How about Well, this is your time peach? to weigh in. If you yeah, guys gonna... are like, hey, I'm going to use a ton of this color or I, I love this. Oh, this shows this up look. pretty good. You want to show them this on the haint blue? So I'm using silver lining and I also have New Year's Eve out. I'm going to try New Year's Eve next. Mm -hmm. Can you see it? Yeah, they can see the sparkles. Can you see the sparkles on there? Yeah, I think it works better on the colors. Like the white, it kind of just blended in. It just is a little well, bit Well, is it a white glitter? No, or, it's like a oh, silver. Oh, it's a, um, you're using the mica powders. Yeah, I'm using mica powders. So it's softer. It's not like the big chunky. It's almost like the super fine, expensive uh, glitter that you can hardly find anywhere anymore. It's kind of like that. All right, got Let's try that. most. I think that's all off. Look at this pile of blah. Oh, that's pretty. This is the... New Year's Eve one. Maybe I'll do the... No, I think I like silver lining better. When I look at this, it reminds me of something I found in the attic that looks like a rat's nest. It looks just fine. Like that was on this garland. What What was the color scheme there? What were Why they going for? Why don't you paint for? those berries for me and I'll reuse them. Um, are we that desperate to use those? Those berries are falling apart. Okay. I was just being funny. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't think that was funny. You didn't think that was funny? <laughs> no lilac oh yeah that might be a good one we need heavy hitters and then i need you all to tell your friends and tell you if you have a diy paint retailer that you buy diy paint from and they don't carry cottage colors tell them that you want them because we need to get the word out i'm not very good at promoting myself so this is my shameless plug i mean i'm good at saying jamierevintage.com but i'm not good at the rest of stuff what is your recipe for crusty and soft bread? You want me to just tell it to you while I'm sitting here? <laughs> um, it's like three cups of flour, a cup and a half of water, a fourth a teaspoon of yeast, and two teaspoons of... Do you need me to paint more copper stuff? Salt. Um, nope. You can keep doing these, though. You want to do these? Yep. So what you do is... Well, you saw what I did. And then you sprinkle. This one needs to be sprinkled. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. About that many of them. And then we'll get going on the pink ones. Okay. Because uh, I know how much you love pink at Christmas time. Because <laughs> you just or, pulled, I or, feel like. You, or really any time of year. <laughs> you just pulled pink off of it. So I know how much you want to add it back. This really so, is like a powder. It, it's, it's just so fine. I love it because it's not like crazy. We've not used it much because. I haven't. I, I Jamie think, always teases that I love glitter, but not. This is not glitter, though. This is yeah. the essence of sparkle. Essence of sparkle. <laughs> uh, I need another brush because that one has that one has paint frosting on it. So these are my <laughs> copper patina resin situations. They're going to go on here, but I think they need. A different color so i was going to just lightly do white we'll see we'll see they might get some dark wax i don't know yeah that's cute a little white and copper makes it look kind of like a little snow on there a little snowy situation 
we're, we got another storm coming this weekend and Harrington's all excited. He's like, we already have 48 inches of base on the mountain at Brighton. That's a ski resort he has passed to this year. Um, he's like, I'm so excited because we're going to, it's going to be up about 60 inches after this storm, which is pretty good because it, it covers the tops of all the little trees that grow where they clear the ski runs. <clears throat> That's working out good. But I don't know how excited I am because I've been milking buttercup in the snow. Still no stanchion. I keep saying I'm going to do it. I'm I, What needs to happen is I like our projects that I do. I usually end up just like staying up late after Jamie goes to bed and doing them. I might just need to sneak over to the barn and build that thing at midnight so that I can get it done. Or we can just make a video. I don't know how exciting that's going to be. It's like two by fours that's in a square. <laughs> That is true. That's how we got to get our. But if I have the stanchion built, like Jack could go over there and milk her. Yeah. All right. I'm going around the still. edges because I want them to be frosted. And I've been milking her out, and I've been milking Buttercup out in a field, <laughs> like just just in the pasture she's in. It's like she's like in a little quarter acre. A couple people uh, have mentioned she doesn't have any uh, in much to graze on. It's winter. And I don't I don't want to break people's hearts, but even when that grows in in the spring, I'm gonna have to feed her hay. There you go. There's my little Holly Lane resin applique with copper patina. And then I use the Cottage Colors white linen and I don't have to seal it because it's all like the patina and the paint have sealer in them. So that's why I like to use these for these type of projects because ain't nobody got time to seal little stuff. All right. Next, I think I need dark wax. So more, more fun cow talk. She is up to two gallons a day almost right now. She, some days is a little more, some days is a little less. Um, but I've been feeding her grass and alfalfa mix, but mostly grass. It's not much alfalfa at all. And I've been giving her um, beet pulp, and she loves the beet pulp, and it makes her milk taste so good and sweet. And I think that's I think that's what's doing it. She's I think she was just on straight alfalfa when we got her and she was only given about a gallon a day. And now that she's I'm mixing in the beets, she's, ex she's excited about that. And she, man, she'll come running when she knows it's time to eat. So, so I was thinking, what about adding uh, some different greenery to that too? I have some old lambs ear and I do have some white flowers. I know how much you like floral in it. We can do whatever this, you know, at the end of the day, I really don't care that much. <laughs> I know you let me do what I want. I love that. So you let me do. Yes. I, right. I allow you to do what you I want grabbed to do. another. Oh, maybe I didn't. I'm going to wash this brush and use it for wax. Okay. I feel like I could do a whole Christmas village with this jar of powder. Uh, yeah, or like twenty. Right, Cows, chickens, done. aren't they amazing? Beets. She'll have pinky milk. <laughs> Are you milking by hand? No, we have. Um, two. I had to milk her by hand last night. She's got one quarter that just doesn't let down good for the milking machine. A quarter means a teat. She's got a teat that's a pain. She has four, and so she's got three quarters that the milking machine does great on. Then she's got one that's like. I'm done like milking and then I realized that the machine hasn't milked her out. So, so I had to milk that one by hand last night, but it's not, not that big a deal. All right. I'm just adding dark wax. She's, she's pretty comfortable with both. She doesn't care. And I'm just using this drop cloth to wipe it back because it's working. I'll show it to you close <laughs> in a minute. This is oh, going to bring good. all the detail. Yeah. Now my okay, question is, do I need leave these on like shiny or do I need to do something to these too? No, I'd leave them on shiny. Are you wanting me to smash those flat? Oh yeah. Okay. Let me go get a board to do that. You're going to need to mix up some pink if you want the pink ones. Okay. I'll let me finish dark waxing I'm going to put these. this brush in water or something, or it's going to harden up with that paint frosting in there. All right. Well, I gotta Maybe I'll just Can wash it out. Can you fix the camera before you leave? Oh, yeah. Did it go? Yeah. That was a fast half hour. Right? But I feel like I've got a lot of stuff done. 
I think I figured I might out get the this. camera problem. I did a firmware update because, you know, if you guys have been watching, we've much. had overheating issues on the camera last couple weeks. All right. There's too much in that one at dark wax. So I'm going to wash out this other brush and use it to pull the wax out. Sometimes it gets too much in the cracks and there's really no way to get it out. But if you use another clean brush, you can pull the wax out of the cracks. There we go. I want it to look chunky. There's a product called Utter Mint that is awesome for getting helping milk to let down. You massage it and it's like more liniment, but massage should do it. Good to know. We're, we're new homesteaders here. Amy says she's on her lunch break. She's ha gonna have to go to work now. Well, if you're still there, Amy, I'm gonna show you this up close because the dark wax really brings these to life. So I use a total of three products on these. You've got the Pennies from Heaven Copper Patina, the Cottage Colors, and then the Dark Wax. And the reason why the Dark Wax works really good is because there's a built-in sealer in all this paint. So it doesn't make it muddy. It just kind of sits down in the cracks. And it does pretty good. And these are all from the Holly Lane mold and then the Snowflake is from the Blitz mold. All right, so I got this idea for flattening these from Carmen's Curiosities, I think that's her name. So I can't take the credit for it. Although she didn't do it exactly the way I did it, but she flattened it. That's gonna be loud. I know, that's why I was just looking so at So could it. you just go over there? And Here, I'll just put my mic over there and hopefully, you, know, you talk the whole time and you know, it'll pick up your voice. But what am I gonna say? Uh, let's see. Hey, hey, John. Says, hey there, hope you all are well. We are doing so much better than last week. We were supposed to use this side or look how cute that is. We were supposed to meet up with John last week. Um, they have in Salt Lake and I believe there's other locations. They have the giving machines and they're like vending machines that you can put money in and then you donate to charities and they're awesome. John, if you're still on, would you, Caitlin said that was a little loud. John, if you're still on, would you drop a link to the giving machines? Or Caitlin, can you find that? All right, now that they've seen it happen, I'm going to go outside and flatten these super fast and be done. All right. Look, it's I like this side. You do what side you want. I'm going to almond. You have, what, five? Yeah. I'll be right back. I think, though, that they need a little paint. Okay. Yeah, all my brushes are dirty. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I got to... Sneak away. Oh, John says 28 locations for the giving machines. Link to follow. No problem, John. I'm always happy to shout you out. They do lots of good work. Honolulu has them. That's awesome. Some German glass on the edges would be cute. All right. Well, maybe I'll do white on the edge and then I'll sprinkle some of the mica powders. Yeah, this is a new use. Um, so like I said, I saw Carmen do it, but she didn't, she like painted the whole thing and it looked a little different. So it's always good to get inspiration and then put your own spin on it. And I'm going to put these on my garland, but you could totally hang these from your tree. The next time I buy these, I think people are going to scoop them up. Hopefully I can find some more. I do have some heart tins, but they're kind of big and I don't want to lose their shape, but we'll see. Maybe I'll wind up doing something with those next. Let's see. Oh, that's totally cute. All right, next. Where's my silver lining? My hands are wet. Thank you. J John dropped the link, and I think mm, Caitlin did too. You can do things like, uh, at least you could before, where you like buy a cow or buy a goat for like a village in need. Clean water. The giving machines are cool. I, I don't know. I don't remember from the time we went, but I think all the proceeds. Yes, they all go, go to the towards helping to the charities. Okay. Like the, the church puts the uh, bill for logistics and getting all that set up, and then the actual money you donate all goes to the charity. All right. So here, I don't know if you can see. 
it, you definitely can see the glitter in real life, but here is the cottage color with the silver lining mica powder. I'm gonna have to make roughly 200 of these to use up this mica powder. <laughs> and I'm just gonna hot glue. Um, we only have five. I know, I don't have 200. <laughs> That was a joke. All right. Are you, that was a joke. Are you able to finish this off or do you need to paint pink ones? And I can start. Oh, thank you. Repurposed my way, shared our link in her community tab. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Let's see if I can. Appreciate that. Um, I is this not on? No, oh, it is. Did you not turn it on? I did. Question. Query. Do we want to finish this or do you want me to start painting the top of that so we can decoupage it? Why don't we let the people decide? What do you want to see? Do you want to see decoupage on that little table? If you're just joining, I fixed this to the table legs on this. This was, we got that at in California when we visited Debbie in March and the braces on the legs broke off in transit getting home. And I'm just getting around to fixing it. We did that earlier in the video. Okay. So, yeah, five. All right. I could, you know what? Why don't you, you could do that. Okay. I got this. Me and this I'm going to put this over here until you're ready to glue on it. Yeah. I, well, I can get the gluing done in probably, oops, what 10 minutes. What should I paint the top? That's the question. What should you paint the top? Yeah, what color? Are we it said finish the garland. Finish the garland. Oh, Zab, your mic. Oh, I didn't say anything important. You always say important things. What, what color do you want on this? Well, you got to paint white if you're going to decoupage. Okay. So why don't you just paint the top white and we'll decoupage it and then we can pick the base color later because you don't have to have that done to. And I got white linen right here. So all you, oops, I went. Just need a brush. Nice. All you need is a brush. I'll, I'll let you dip in my cottage colors. I didn't know you were planning on decoupaging this. So I haven't really uh, thought about what paper to use. Well, why don't you here. just go see what paper we have? That is. I was actually thinking if we had the toile. I would really love to use that because I feel it's a, it's like a great earthy neutral and it, we haven't really used it that much. And you worked really hard designing that decoupage. It did paper. take the longest because like the spacing and stuff and I had to cut everything out. Pro tip, if you order any decoupage paper from our website, always order two because then that puts your order over $10 and the decoupage paper will have free shipping. Yeah, because um, if not, it almost charges you as much to ship one paper as another paper. Yeah, it's cost. like an like extra it, buck and you get two sheets. Like a dollar different. Yeah. Because we used to do free shipping no matter what, but, you know, inflation, shipping has gone up. I'm just going to paint so this we have whole to, lip. It has to be at least two sheets, otherwise we lose our... I was trying to, like, not paint this lip, and I'm now I had to go for it. And we have a Valentine's Day one that's just like the Santa postcard. So if you have already finished up your Christmas crafting... The Valentine's Day. This is just being a stinker. Um, it's because that glue stick was bent in the back and you pushed it through. You probably should have cut it off and not pushed oh, it. Well, guess what? I'm fixing it. I will make it work. It's bent. It was like melted in half somehow. And so it's not going to go through straight. That's I'm just getting paint on here and then I'm going to straighten my brush strokes out. I'm just going to struggle over here with my glue gun. Oh, you're right. I should have pulled that out. Well, Chili, we're not now. We're going. I'm just going to push it through. All right. I'll just dip it like this. I'll just dip it in the glue. I will make it work. There we go. It's done. See if I can get it to go now. Is that like percussive maintenance? Whack it till it works. Um, I mean, Zeb doesn't enjoy it when I do that to our equipment, but that's usually my first line of defense. I was gonna. <laughs> I mean, sometimes when stuff's plugged oh, I need up, that. that's all you've got. I guess I should finish painting these and then I can glue them on. Okay, I'm gonna go get the heat gun. That's gonna need a second coat, so I will dry. Under that decoupage, out. do you really need two coats, Seb? Well, I cut. I painted the edge too. Well, we can paint that later. I mean, you can if you want to. I'm just. Well, it's got to be dry before I decoupage it. The heat gun's right here, sweetie. Oh. I already had it out because I heat gunned my cottage color so I could dark wax these without waiting because I'm not patient. 
We have snow in our front yard. It hasn't melted all the way. Caitlin didn't get as much snow as us, and she's only like 20 minutes away. We didn't get that much. We only got like three inches, but it's hanging around. Yep. My niece Willow was here, if you missed our live video on Monday. And before she left, she drew a big old heart in the snow, and it's still there, and it's so cute. What are the metal discs? These are little tart tins that I thrifted, and Zeb just hammered them flat. So if you watch the replay later, you can kind of see what they started out as. And I got the idea from my friend Carmen, but she painted the whole thing. I'm just kind of snowing up the edges, adding some mica powders. Yeah, Caitlin says that's how it happens. She'll get more snow than us. Because that, that happened the first time when her boys, remember when they were making that snowman and we had like nothing? Yeah. All my Christmas presents are starting to arrive. My wrapping paper should be here today. Um, my favorite thing to are do Are you all is done? How much shopping do you have to do still? Um, I'm not really buying a whole lot this year. Fun fact, Jamie does like 90% of the Christmas shopping. It's a surprise to Zeb and the children. And I get her something. <laughs> you are actually in charge of the boys. You know already the one thing that I got them that's kind of big, but yeah. you need to fill in the gaps. They really like to make stuff. So we have to figure out what we want to do that they can make because they like to create their own things. Jack would just be happy with cardboard and it's difficult because we're like, oh, we're not going to get them any video games this year. That's usually the go to get them some video games and some Legos. But Jack did ask Redrick doesn't game. play with Legos as much as he used to. And I'm tired of him playing video games so much. So I'm not getting them that. Well, they, they don't watch our videos, but. But we did get a one kind of electronic thing, but it's not crazy. We've got to get it and then put all the parental controls on it. But I was thinking we could go through their craft supplies and see what all they need. Really, their big present this year is my mom is giving us cash. We are buying tile and the kids are getting a walk-in shower. So Merry Christmas. Yeah, they don't oh. use that tub. They don't. There's a claw foot tub in their bathroom. And they do not like, like the girls won't even shower in there. They're like, the, the shower curtain always touches me when I'm in there showering and washing my hair. And I don't like it because it's got like a circular or oval shower curtain that goes around the top. Uh, I think that's dry enough. Dry that thing. Caitlin, right did you trick please. or treat Donnie Osmond's house? Kai wants to know. I, Cooper and Odelia took Jack out and Redrick was with friends. So I don't know where they went actually. All right. Let me go see what decoupage paper we have available here. To see if there's any questions. <clears throat> okay. The problem is our decoupage paper is all cut up into little strips because <laughs> we've used pieces. Yeah, we might. I think we have a whole sheet of the toile, though. I'm going to look for it. Is it, it right called now. industrial toile? I can't remember. You name, you and Caitlin, I think. Well, I think you name one. I just went through and named all these ones real fast. Marcia says um, they're getting high winds today. Oh. They, she lives by Lake Erie. Is that by Michigan? Yeah. I I, so. I'm not very good with my. I was going to say geometry, but I meant. Ge Geography. I'm not very good at my geography. Apparently, I'm not very good with the English either. We have made so many Christmas decorations that they are now flowing onto the kid tree. So even the kid tree that has their ornaments also has our handmade ornaments. I'm going to put the lid back on. It, I didn't even make a dent in this powder. It doesn't look like much, but it goes a long way. Okay, so let me show you this up close. If you're just tuning in, I use the IOD molds with resin. These were already poured before we went live. And then we've got copper patina, cottage color, and then you probably can't see it, but we've got a little bit of the mica power powders for shimmer.
And these are going to go on my garland along with pine cones. So I got to finish on my pine cones. Let's see. I've got this many left for pink. And on the pine cones, I'm using the, uh, what is it called? Paint frosting because I'm making them thick. Negative Ghost Rider. There's not enough industrial twelve. Not a full one. Oh, B and Barn is good. I have a full B and Barn. Yeah, let's do that. That's an oldie but a goodie. Was that from like our second round release? Third, I think. Third round. Okay, let's do that one. Bees and Barn. This paper here. We don't. I don't think we've hardly used this one. I know. And it well, is we so can't. What happens is good. we come out with like. 10 papers at once and then like, oh, now we uh, we used three. Let's move on to the next release. <laughs> so the JRV papers we sell at jamierayvintage.com, but we also have JRV retailers. The most important thing if you're checking with a retailer is to see if they carry the paper or stencil you're looking for because not all of them carry all the products, but usually they can order it in and our shipping is pretty fast. And if you don't have anybody by you that carries them, um, just ask your favorite paint retailer if they could carry JRV products. We're trying to get them into the UK, but we don't have anybody yet. Nope. Shelly says, I really like the idea to flatten those tart tins. I wouldn't have thought of that. I'm definitely keeping that in mind. Yeah, it's a fun idea. Oh, uh, Marcia says mica powders are awesome rubbed on nail polish in the top coat. I don't really paint my nails be well, be because this, but my daughters um, do. My one daughter does quite a bit. I've been adding too much. So I got to be careful. It really just takes, you need like a dropper. I'm going to tell Debbie that we need to change the bottles and make this with a dropper. Don't you think that would work better? I think it would. Anyways. Uh, my daughter does nails, Eliza, and she does gels and dips and all kinds of things. So I'm thinking I'm just going to do this big barn image. Let me see. In the middle. That's good. Can you see on the Got camera? wet paint on the side, so be careful. Okay. Just smearing it. Let me go get a little pencil and mark this. Well, since we're doing this now, then we'll have to come up with a different project, but that's okay. We can do some more different furniture for Friday's video. Last Friday, we did our home tour. We have lots of furniture. We have to start repairing everything that's in the barn because that's usually what happens. It fills up with all the stuff we can't do quick projects on and all the repairs that need done. And then we have like 20 pieces of furniture in, in there and nothing ever gets fixed. We just buy new furniture and it's got to get fixed and get out of there. Because honestly, we usually only keep five or six pieces on hand and there's literally like 20 in there right now. In my defense, we got a bunch for free. Yes. I did not buy it all. And also it needs repairs. Some so. of them are like huge old antiques. And just think, the more furniture we get out of there, and the more room you have to build your stanchion. Mm -hmm. You probably actually have enough room in there now in the middle, don't you, to build it? But where are you going to put it? Because don't you want to bring her into the barn? I don't know. To milk her to get out of the weather? So I'm just putting this down and tracing along the edge. I was going to try to be cool and just mark the corners. And I'm like, oh, I'm just going to make a line. All right. they, can they see what you're doing? I think they can. I don't know. Maybe. I think they can. Yeah, I'm looking to see that they can. Zeb needs a repair a loser where you just repair stuff. Yeah, I do. Go live on the channel. It's pretty easy to repair most of it. A lot of it's just glue and a few screws and maybe some nails and reinforcement here and there. I mean, maybe what you need to do is get electric out there so that way you can have a heater. I don't have any power out there because... Because we do have a heater you could put in that barn. Yeah. But I can't decide if I want you to put the heater there or put the heater here so that way when I want to work on projects in the garage. That It actually has like a, almost like a... It's corrugated fiberglass, kind of like corrugated tin, but it's got essentially a big skylight on the south side. So it stays pretty warm in there actually because the sun shines in most of the day i'm just using vintage pink sorry in case you didn't know what i was doing so these are like a very soft pink i'm making pink snow on my pine cones because when you diy stuff you can make it any color you want you could have bohemian blue snow you could have vintage mint 
whatever you want. I need advice on a milking machine. Which one do you like? Caitlin, can you drop the link to the one we use? So I just got the cheapest one I could find on Amazon that'll do... With the best reviews. That'll do, yeah, it did have the best reviews. That'll do cows. And I, I, I actually have two of them now because it only comes with two suction cups or claws, if you will. I think they call them For claws. his birthday, he bought a second and one. And I got a second one so that I didn't have to switch. So I run both machines at once. I probably... We'll get a bigger, better machine eventually, but we got to like get a calf and sell it so that that's feasible and something we actually, we'll see how it works long-term. Like, Yeah, I, I don't like to invest a ton of money until I know how things are going to work out. It's kind of like, I really want a, a better pasta maker, but I'm like, I don't make pasta that much. I said this the other day, you got to be careful because you could wind up with a bunch of machines. Oh, this is way easier to just do this. Get them all painted and then do it. But so far, I've been using it about a month, and it's a tiny little machine. It's like a low-pressure vacuum, and then it has the two suction cups and like a three-liter um, bucket that attaches to it. It would be so fun to do a little Christmas village, use the vintage pink to make pink snow, and then sprinkle the silver lining on it. I should tell Debbie. She should do that. She does come up with an idea for her. Village type oh, craft. there's Sally. She says beautiful. Thanks for that super chat. Thank you, Sally. Um, Appreciate Karen says that. maybe a log burner, then you could burn off cuts. Would that work in there? A log burner? I don't. Um, I, I would love, love to have a wood because of pollution. I would love to have a wood burning stove or something in there because I do have lots of pine. I don't burn MDF products because it's mostly glue and chemicals. My mom has COPD, and so when people start using their wood burners, it really activates it, and so... Well, in our part of town, you can still burn trash, like yeah. yard, yard waste and stuff. We don't. We're, but... we're still... It's older part of town. Everybody's got bigger yards and tons of old trees. Um, I don't think... Let me see. Are you done with white? You guys might, you guys might get to see Are the... Are you done with this? Yeah. I'm going to move it out of You guys might get to see the dirty dishes in the sink. I'm going to raise fine. this up high. People know we live here. They're mostly done. It's just from when I made Zeb breakfast this morning. All right, let me see. Okay, I'm trying not to knock the camera around too much. I'm just gonna grab the heat gun from you and heat gun my pine cones. Oh, yeah, we can still see. I'm gonna get on this stool. And we're gonna decoupage. I'm going to get the stool that doesn't spin. We have two stools that spin and two stools that don't. And every now and then I try to stand up on the stool that spins and it gets, it gets fun. All right. Liquid patina in the crystal clear. This is our absolute favorite decoupage medium. It's a sealer. It dries real matte. It's pretty thick. So it, you can do, someone asked the other day, like, what's the thickest we've decoupaged? Do you have to use the thin paper? And my answer was, we've done poster board <laughs> with this. Not poster board. We did. They were like posters out of a calendar. Oh, that is true. Never on mind. On the boys. Yeah, the Star Wars yeah. dresser that we did. The boys dresser. I think it looks better with the decoupage paper. Yeah, it's yeah. much, much easier. But you can definitely do a thick paper with it. But totally easier and you get a lot more control with the thinner papers. Oh, Caitlin found you guys. Oh my gosh, she's the best ever. She found a Amazon link for metal tins that are the closest to what we have here. Thank you for doing that. When you guys use our Amazon links, we get a few pennies, but every time you use them, anything you order on that order, whether it's through the link or not, we get a little credit for. So if you're just ordering anything on Amazon, if you want to start with our link, you know, we'd love that. I'm going to stand on the Helps. island here. Helps me buy more crafting supplies. It's a pack of 50 and there's a smaller pack of 12 for eight. Oh, that's not bad at all. Okay. I think these are all pretty well dry. So if you get wrinkles, 
and that bothers you, you could do the iron method. Um, uh oh, got a, a slightly crooked. Terry That's Joe, Caitlin can link it, or if you just type in Jamie Ray Vintage Mirror, maybe add the word transfer, I bet you it would pop up on YouTube. We have over 1,300 videos, so I sometimes it does get tricky you to find. You got to get a little specific sometimes with your search. All right. All right. There we go. That's pretty straight on there. I think we can fix the rest with paint around the edge when we paint that lip and second coat it. But the iron on method, what you do is you let the liquid patina dry all the way. Then you put this over the top and iron this part. You usually use like a little cloth or something so you don't burn your paper over the top of the paper and then iron that and it'll heat that liquid patina up and you don't get all the wrinkles. We like the wrinkles, so I I, I go for extra wrinkles usually. That's good because I'm getting older. <laughs> I got the good uh, the good crinkly laugh lines around my eyes a lot. Oh, thanks, Denise. She says she tries to use our links when she buys from Amazon. Awesome. Appreciate that. Barbara, and we did flatten these with a hammer. How hard was it to flatten with a hammer? Is really that did easy. It for me? Jack could have done it. Jack is eight. Jack also has some mad DIY skills, though. He is he is pretty good at figuring things out. Even when we don't want him to take things apart. That actually sucked down pretty good. I actually, we need to use this paper more. I love it. It is a really good paper. I, I think like it's cute. We, it we just sold um, another small table, and we shipped it out. So I've been wanting to do a small table to replace it. I'll give you the close-up view. Let me see if I can get this to focus up. Um, Sally, it, I don't know if there's like a permanent link, but if you just use, like if you save the links that Caitlin shares and start with that, that works. And I do have an Amazon store, Jamie Ray Vintage, it's not very full. We need to we do order quite a few things that we use on a daily basis yeah i need to be better about it i'm just not that good and i i really like to support like local but i also understand some people are close to a store or the stores locally don't have what they want so well here's the thing depending on what you're buying you can get specific with it i have um we buy a lot of weird i have some friends stuff. that are a small business the the vesters oh yeah and they only sell on amazon and that's like their storefront. That's their website. Like they, they make a bunch of products and they sell them through Amazon. And without that, they would go away. I'm going to add a ribbon, but I will wait until we hang it. And then I'll spe specifically do it. What and is the name of that paper, Zeb? It's B and Barn, right? Yeah. So B and Barn is the name of that paper. You can get it at jamierayvintage.com. It would be really cute for signage, like oh, yeah. one paper and a bunch of scrap wood, and you could well, make so much signs. I'll show you the cutoff portions, too, because I cut off some of the really That's good cute. stuff. I think I just want to paint the west, rest of it white and do like a dark wax on the crack. Okay. Details. So it's got like these chicken coops here up top that I cut out, but it's also got all these different types of bees and honeycomb and this beehive here. Um, and then on this side, it I cut the, the bull off. It does have a big bull on the bottom and then some more bees and, and uh, hives and stuff. So it's a fun paper. And then it's got the barn. We just kind of mixed them all in together with the two barn type scenes and then all the bees. This is going to take me a hot minute, but I'll get a little of this put together. Oh, it's 11 o'clock. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to put one more cone on and then I'll add another. The reason, the reason we do the papers like that is because they have a ton of little elements that can be used individually. Like you could, you could probably use this section here and just make a pretty decent size frame and frame it out and you've got a picture, right? But we also do it so that the whole paper is pretty cohesive and can be used together if you want. Yeah, sometimes you use look at decoupage papers and they're just like definitely they're like a made. hodgepodge, like through a bunch of elements on there. Yeah, and, and they're not made to use all in once. Ours are pretty, even if you don't cut them apart, which is sometimes hard to come up with that. But 
Sorry, I'm having to hold these on here. I really love the addition of the blue. Here, I'll here. zoom That's in. Fun. Oh, it's time anyway. Yeah, it's time anyways. I'm going to add one more of my little pie tins here. Let me get another glue stick. Can you roll that this way so yes. they can kind of, there you so go. So I'm mostly just decorating on the one side because I it's going to go up against my stairs. Yeah, I'm not like swagging that, right? I'm just going to string it on there. Oh, well, I was going to swag it a little. Maybe we'll see. I don't see. think it's long enough to swag. Well, we'll decide once it gets up there. And I, I have some odds and end ribbon I might add to. Or I might have to get some velvet. I was actually going to get some creamy taupe velvet ribbon. All right. All right. There we go. Oh, that one's well, we'll, we'll, we'll get a picture of this once we put it on the stairs so you guys can see what that looks like. But I think... Yeah, this is pretty well done. We're going to get on with our day. we got a lot lot to do today. Do we ever not? And i got to take Eliza to the orthodontist at oh, 3.30. Right. And I also have to get my – the dogs ate my retainers. <laughs> they got it right off the nightstand and ate the whole case and the retainers, everything. So i got to go get those remade. <laughs> if you want to buy the paint products you see here, go to jamierayvintage.com. And if you like this video, be sure to share it out. That helps us a ton. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Happy Wednesday. We will see you later. Yeah, these are going to look good all on there. Are you spacing?